You see, we all struggle. Every last one of us struggles. What may be a temptation for you might not be a temptation for me. What's a temptation for me might not be a temptation for you, but that's okay. I want you to notice the consequence of temptation. Notice the consequences of temptation. Verse 15. James chapter one, verse 15, it says, then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. You see, our desires lead to actions. Our actions lead to results. Those results lead to consequences. Those consequences lead to death. It's that simple. Our sins ultimately will lead us to death, but praise God for the gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Every last one of us is one choice away from changing the course of history for our lives. Every last one of us are one decision away from changing the course of history for our lives. We know some people most of you have seen the news. Most of you realize what's taking place in society today. And, and most of you probably realize that Ohio has a pretty bad heroin problem right now. Most of you have probably seen that the heroin overdose and the heroin deaths are very high right now in the state of Ohio. And maybe you didn't know, but it all started in Portsmouth, Ohio, when the first pill mills started coming to be many years ago. And because of those pill mills and certain doctors, doctor, uh, I forget the guy's name, but one of the doctors that would come and, and just prescribe when, um, pills for any sort of pain. You got a headache here. Here's all kinds of medication. Your leg hurts here. Here's all kinds of medication. Well, those pills became expensive. And so a couple of people down in this little, uh, it's like a city state down in Mexico, uh, Jalisco, we were down there. They said, you know what? We've got a product that's very similar to the chemical makeup of these pills and it's called black tar heroin. Now this black tar heroin you can get uh, very cheap. You can get very cheap pain pills right now on the, uh, at, I should say, uh, you don't wanna say the market, but on the streets they're going for about a, a dollar a milligram is what, you, what they're selling for. Black tar heroin's a lot cheaper and it's a lot more, it's, it's deadlier, it's more potent. The chemical makeup of black tar heroin is morphine, which is the same chemical makeup of your opiates, of your, your, your Oxycontins uh, and pills such as that. What took place is they, th this group of individuals needed, needed some people to kind of push their, their drugs on and they decided to come up to Portsmouth, Ohio and begin. And everything spawned off from there. And we have an epidemic. It's been said that five people a day overdose from heroin in Ohio alone. I know of three that overdosed from heroin within the last week and a half. One I didn't know personally, two we did. You see, temptations are inevitable. You say, ma'am, my temptation isn't that. Well, praise God it's not that. But a sin as deadly as heroin is the same potency and the same destructive nature as the sin of gossip, as the sin of pride, as the sin of being selfish. You see, if we aren't careful to put on the whole armor of God, this battlefield of temptation will win every single time. And if we're not careful can lead us down a very, very destructive path. And in fact, let me, let me show you a video of what I mean. Hi, my name is David Houston. I'm 23 years old and I'm married to my wife, Anna. It's by the grace and power of God and his word that is transforming my life. And this is just a short testimony of how the Lord is bringing me out of the darkness of addiction. I grew up in a great Christian home, surrounded by a great Christian family, and I've attended Camp Baptist Temple all of my life. I was saved at the age of five years old out of Camp Chaff. I started in my addiction 
in my late teenage years when I was playing football and pride just slowly began to creep into my life and to destroy me. I started hanging around the wrong crowd and getting involved in drinking and marijuana and slowly over the course of, of years it, it developed into cocaine and prescription pills and the drugs just really took a toll on my life. On March 1st of 2014, I married my wife, Anna, and I thought everything was gonna to come to a stop. I thought the drugs would, would stop. I thought the lying would stop. I thought the just sneaking around, I thought it would all stop. But I wasn't allowing the Lord to, to do a work in me. I, I was angry at God, I was mad at God, and, and I just wanted to, to go my own way. I wanted to rebel against everything that I was taught growing up. And Anna and I's relationship just, it wasn't all that it, that it could have been because of my sinful and selfish ways. And just the destruction of an addiction of lifestyle will just tear a marriage apart. And, and I can testify to that. On November 29th of 2014, I entered into the RU Rockford Men's Home School of Discipleship and many people helped lead me to this home. And, and when I got there, I could just feel the love of God there. It was a place where I was isolated. It was a place where everything around me and all the situation, situations and circumstances were just, they were put aside and I was solely to just focus on my relationship with the Lord. It wasn't long while I was there until I surrendered my life to God and I wanted him to change me and the person and the person that I was and the sin that I was living in, the addictive lifestyle that I was living. On the, on the fourth day, as I was there, as I said, I surrendered my life to the Lord and He just really worked in my heart and life. I began, I began to develop a love for the Word of God and His Word was just convicting me of the sin in my life and He just began to, to change me from the inside out. I, uh, the, the program is a six month program and so I was there for six months, and it was, it was really hard. Just the thought of knowing that I had to be away from my wife for six months was heartbreaking, even though our relationship wasn't nowhere near what the Lord wanted it to be nor what we wanted it to be. But I completed the program there at Rockford, and God did, a, God did an absolute miracle in my life, and He just changed my heart. And I knew that my heart was just changed, and I knew that it was going to be changed forever. And I felt like at the end of the program that the Lord had something for me. I felt like he was calling me to the ministry and that he wanted me to, to help others in need that were living in addiction. And so when I came back home from the uh, Rockford program, I, I was doing well. I was sharing my testimony. I was, uh, I was coming to church. I was doing the things that I thought that I needed to do. But, I, but one thing that I wasn't doing was I wasn't fulfilling God's calling on my life. And I, and I strayed away from, I started to stray away from His Word. I started to stray away from the church. I started to stray away from the Holy Spirit guiding me. And, and one bad choice after I came home, I fell into the addiction again. And it, and it got worse than it ever was. And for two or three months, I, I lived that lifestyle and and my wife had to had to move out of the home and she really she was heartbroken she thought I had been changed she's seen it in me and then then I failed her once again and she she just couldn't she just couldn't deal she just couldn't deal with it she loved me and she wanted to be there for me but I was just tearing tearing my family apart and she, so she left the house and she was gone for about two weeks and I just didn't care about life anymore. I had suicidal thoughts. I just wanted to, I just wanted to end my life. But there was one morning when I woke up and the Lord humbled me and he, he just said, you, Dave, you just gotta change. You just gotta get back to your, you just gotta get back to loving me and, and living for me. And uh, from that day forward, the Lord has continued to work in my life in a mighty way. I surrendered to God for full-time ministry. And I really feel like the Lord is calling me to preach and I feel like He's calling me to, to help the addicted. And, and I just praise Him for the, 
for his grace and for the wonderful miracle that he's doing in my life. And I just want to thank Camp Baptist Temple. I just want to thank everyone who's been a part of my life and just all the prayers and the support. I, I truly mean that. I thank you guys and I just pray that you continue to pray for me. That's powerful. That right there, that's why we do what we do. That right there. You say, once an addict, always an addict. No, no. Once an addict changed by the Lord Jesus Christ, he's changed by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This ministry that we have, such an incredible opportunity to be a part of. is a great way to minister to our family here at church. Because any given Sunday, our brothers and sisters in Christ that are in this building are struggling. Any given Sunday, any given day, people need a place to belong. And there's all sorts of programs that are out there that we could go to. But why not go to the best support group, the local church? Why not gather here to see lives changed? It's because of guys like Dave that we do what we do. One life that's impacted makes everything worth it.